This is a quick video tutorial for students in economic geography, Geography 340. Uh, this tutorial is dedicated to helping you uh, gather data from the county census, uh, county business patterns on the census data, uh, uploading it into Excel, and then using Excel to calculate something called the location quotient, which is a measure of industry concentration. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do in the Google window is to type in county business patterns. And uh, it should be the first thing that comes up on the Google search. And once you get here, uh, scroll down a little bit and select Alabama or any state for that matter from the list and click go. So we have uh, the most recent year for Alabama here, the, it has 1.6 million uh, paid employees roughly, but uh, we're not going to use that year. Rather, we're going to use uh, the year 2010, so click on this down arrow and select 2010 and select Go. Notice that the numbers change slightly. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to get um, the similar data for establishments and for employees for all states. So click uh, on the compare button. And this will now give us all of the data for all 50 states. And we're looking um, to download this. To download this data, scroll to the bottom, click Save as CSV file. If you have Microsoft Excel, there's a very good chance uh, that this will automatically launch when you open it. I'm going to um, open, but you can also save it or uh, open Excel first and uh, open the download from Excel. So I'm going to click open and Excel is going to launch for me. And here we have uh, the data that we're going to use. Let's get rid of these first three columns. I clicked and drug one, two, three, to highlight them all, and I'm going to delete. Uh, the code is a FIPS code, and it stands for uh, the states, and here are the states' names. Uh, the first thing that we need to get uh, in order to answer some questions here um, is at the bottom of this column, we need to get a sum of this data. So I'm going to uh, put a window split. Uh, data, no, I don't know, it's view here, a split, scroll to the bottom, I've got some junk, I'm going to delete here, don't need any of this, uh, and what I want to do is leave a space here, come down one, and type in sum, highlight the entire column, hit enter, and then copy over, until I have an answer for the first question in Moodle. There it is. Um, click. You might want to pause, answer a question. The next thing we need to do is to uh, go to back to the top of the uh, spreadsheet. Like home. Well, actually, I can just get rid of this. We're going to delete this. And then what we want to do is percent establishments by state. So essentially, I want to find out uh, what percentage of that number of establishments or what the number or the percent of establishments that are in Alabama. So I'm going to type equals and uh, go one over. So I've highlighted the number of establishments in Alabama, and then I'm going to press divide by, and then I go to the bottom and um, highlight the total number of establishments in the United States, and then press F4. Notice that that puts dollar signs, and it's, it's F4 again, and that puts dollar signs to freeze the total U.S. establishments um, figure in the formula, uh, press enter, and there I have a 
um, a figure. There may be a Moodle question that you have to answer now. I'm going to copy that and double click in the lower right hand corner of that cell to uh, copy the formula to the rest of that column. If I were to sum that column up, it should come very close to 1 or 100%. I understand that in order to answer the Moodle question that I need to go back to the top here um, and hit F2 which puts uh, you back in edit mode and then type in times 100 to get a percent. Copy that all the way down and then our answer should come up to a hundred percent. You may or may not have to uh, complete that step in the future. You may also want to uh, click here and then sort the data, either um, A to Z or Z to A, in order to answer another couple of questions in Moodle. All again, one is to uh, make sure that you are um, understanding how to do this correctly. Uh, now we've got to go back to our uh, census database. And again, staying with the year 2010, we're going to go back. And we're going to scroll down to this section here um, and look for and look for industry 72, which is accommodation and food services. What we're looking for are fast food in particular. So we want to click on the detail button, and then we'll scroll down to uh, what is it 72.2 or 72.22, which are uh, fast food, limited service eating places or what the government calls fast food. So then we want to click compare on that and now we have the number of establishments in this column here for each of the states. I'm going to save that as a CSV file and open it up. Another Excel should appear here shortly. Did it? And there it is. Uh, once again, I'm going to get rid of these first uh, three columns by highlighting and deleting. And what I want to do now is to uh, also delete those columns because they're not useful to us. Uh, and I'm going to just copy the data, press Control C, and I'm going to go over to uh, my first set of calculations and press paste. So now we have the fast food uh, data and I'll put this in, in green and these are all establishments over here in, in white. Now what we need to do is to repeat the steps that we uh, did before uh, by gathering, getting a, a sum of the number of establishments. So that's how many total fast food joints there are in the entire United States. And then we want to divide the number uh, of fast food establishments per state by the national total. Um, that's uh, Make sure you press the F4 to get the dollar signs in your formula and then type in 100 uh, or times 100 in order to get uh, the percent copy that all the way down and you have a row of values which should also again sum to 100. So the final step in this is to have a column of location quotients. So I'm going to type uh, LQ and if I, let's see, we, can I grab this formula? To bring this formula over here, basically the location formula, location quotient formula says that uh, at the, the numerator here is the percentage of businesses of a specific type in a specific place. So the percentage, uh, at least in row run, uh, the percentage of businesses in Alabama that are fast food divided by the percentage of of 
all businesses that are in Alabama. Um, so I'm going to move this over. We'll talk about it a little bit in class, maybe. And uh, here's the formula. It is the this, which is the percentage of fast food, uh, a percentage of businesses that are fast food in Alabama, divided by the total percentage of all businesses that are in Alabama. And I think you can see what's going to happen here is that uh, Alabama has a, just a little bit more, just a little bit over um, one. We can also, let's, let's go ahead and put this, uh, type in 100 on here so we're uh, in alignment with the uh, assignments formula. Uh, so we, we multiplied that by 100. So any number over 100 has more fast food than you would expect given the total number of businesses that are in that state. So it doesn't surprise me that Alabama would be a little bit, have a little bit of extra fast food. Um, so I've pressed copy and I'm going to double click here down in the corner to, um, oh, and that's not going to let me do that because I'm not attached. So I need to just copy this all the way down. And that's essentially, we've calculated the location quotient for um, all the uh, states uh, on the measure of fast food. Let's get rid of this column here um, so we can sort. And I'm going to click on H and then delete that too. Uh, let's sort the data here. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, we need to, um, uh, if, you, if it does that, click sort, custom sort, and then tell it you've got uh, headers. And then we want uh, to sort it by a location quotient. Click OK. And what should have happened, oh, I needed to get rid of... Um, what should have happened is that you've got Vermont here, which has the lowest percentage of fast food in the United States, and then somewhere down in the bottom is the place that has the most fast food. And that ends the video tutorial. Hopefully.